Hey guys, Alex here from MovieBuzzers.com, bringing you my next video review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Bradley Cooper's new film, Limitless, starring Abby Cornish, Robert De Niro, and the man from The Hangover himself, Mr. Bradley Cooper. The movie is directed by Neil Berger, who's directed The Illusionist with Edward Norton, and this is also an adaptation of The Dark Fields, a uh, rather popular novel. And so in case you haven't heard anything about this movie, here's a quick synopsis. Uh, Bradley Cooper plays this guy named Eddie Mora, who's a failing writer and randomly encounters uh, his ex-wife's brother-in-law, who was a drug dealer. And he gives him this pill called NZT. And what NZT does is it allows you to access 100% of your brain rather than 20%. So pretty much it's uh, steroids for your brain. So this guy's pretty much juicing the entire movie. And it allows him to remember pretty much everything that's happened in his life uh, and it allows him to absorb information extremely qu quickly. So he's able to, you know, make these ridiculous stock predictions, he mastering languages in days, writing books in hours. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. And it's a fantastic concept that I think could be explored more. And I also think it's relatively thought-provoking and leave you kind of thinking when you leave the theater. So, in that respect, uh, I thought it was really well done. I really did enjoy this movie, though. I thought it was extremely entertaining, and I think it's worth every penny when you go to see it. Uh, I know it's competing against Paul, but I think they're both going to be good. Anyway, so, first off, Bradley Cooper. I actually thought he was really good. Uh, normally, I'm, I wasn't really a big Bradley Cooper fan, and he, he grew on me on this film. And that's because he wasn't playing a cocky, arrogant guy. He was playing a guy that... You know, had confidence, you know, in one le one area when he's on the drug. But he also, you know, he was a, he was a kind guy uh, and down to earth, even as a failing writer. And it's this duality that we see throughout the film that I actually really enjoyed and appreciated because it led to the visual effects. And this is heavily, you know, it's visually intensive uh, effects-wise, but it's also subtle in the way it does it. And so when, you know, he's on the drug, NZT, Everything's vibrant in color, you know, the, the way you, you, you almost have a first-person perspective at certain points, and it's really neat. And then when it's, he's not on the drug, everything's dreary, it's almost communist-like, or if you were living on the streets, how you would see life as a depressed individual. And I think that's one of the really, really interesting aspects of this movie. Uh, Neil Berger, I think, did a great job directing this film. Uh, originally... They had Shia LaBeouf uh, in the role as a lead, but I'm happy he didn't take it because Bradley Cooper nailed it on the head, and I think he was actually made for this role. Uh, he's actually, you know, got life experience. He's old enough. He's, you know, he's, his character needed to have uh, experience in life, and Bradley Cooper, you know, he's, what, in his early 30s or something like that. He's got that experience. So overall, I really did enjoy this movie about steroids for your brain. Uh, Limitless is worth your every penny, like I said before. And it's it's fun, it's entertaining, it's you know, it's got its action. Robert De Niro is a boss, that's all I can really say about that. And overall I thought it was just an enjoyable movie that you know should do pretty well. So this is Alex from moviebuzzers.com signing out.